What's up friend? I saw a couple of you asking what is the best mobility combo for Sork and today I'll finally give you the answer you've been waiting for. There is no mobility combo. Okay, so what I mean with this is that there is not a sequence of skill that you're going to just rotate to move around. It simply doesn't work that way. You might have seen Funtron's video and while it was good back then and the guy is a cutie, it is quite outdated now. Fear not, I will still show you the best way to use the sorcerer's movement, both succession and awakening in any situation from 1v1 to node wars to PvE. The most important thing to know is that you will likely always be in a different situation with different cooldowns. You will not just rotate a couple of spells, but you will have to pick the best alternative depending on the situation. On succession, we just spam jump iframe and use Russian Crow into Midnight Stinger on cooldown. You can also use Engulfing into Stinger, depending on your cooldowns. On Awakening it's similar, we use jump iframe into Russian Crow into Shadow Leap into Midnight Stinger. A fully protected movement sequence usually starts with Rushing Crow into Violation. Then you need to keep an eye on your cooldowns for Engulfing Shadow, Rushing Crow and Violation while using Crowfler and iframes to fill the gaps. Remember that Storming Crow consumes less stamina than your iframe, so you can use it to save some stamina if you're running low. On Awakening it's a similar concept. We'll get close to our target by using Shadow Leap by pressing RMB to end in a block. Engulfing Shadow and Darflame on cooldowns, and use C Swap and Iframe to fill the gaps. When you're moving around in Nodor, you don't only need speed, but you need to save enough stamina for the next fight. This might sound weird, but one of the best ways to move around is to just get the movement speed buff with the jump iframe or shadow leap and then just put your weapon out and just run. If you see a wide dot approaching in the minima, press LMB and be ready to iframe. This will consume very little stamina while still moving quite fast. In PvE, it's quite simple. Depending on the distance you have to cover, you just want to use small bursts of mobility from pack to pack. Just use Jump Iframe, Rushing Crow, and Engulfing Shadow into Midnight Stinger on cooldown. In Awakening, same as Succession, we're rotating our cooldowns and using bursts of mobility, like Rushing Crow into Shadow Leap or Rushing Crow into Midnight Stinger. Lately, I started to use Prime Midnight Stinger after someone in my chat told me that you can still shorten the duration by cancelling it with RMB. I'm kinda liking it so far, even if it's a bit more tedious. It's a bit too early to say, but the option of choosing which stinger to use is nice, and I'll probably keep using Prime for the future. Both in Succession and Awakening, we can do this Darkness Release Cancel, where we'll simply keep S and F pressed and add LMB to make it go faster. This is unprotected, but really good to get some quick distance if you're out of stamina, as this only consumes mana. In Awakening, you can use Nightmare and do a hop backwards by pressing F, then cancelling again with Spacebar to gain some quick distance. Keep in mind that the wind up and down animation are unprotected. You can cast it again and do the same thing twice if you have the flow. And if you're a real chud, you can use the mouse movement into sprinting for the ultimate mobility combo. I hope this guide was helpful, please consider liking and commenting in the video to help with the algorithm and the growth of the channel, all links and socials in the description, see you on the next stream or next Wednesday, and as always, kisses.